All set. All right. We'll bring our planning board meeting to order with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of, of the United States, United States of America and to the republic, republic for which it, for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, liberty, and liberty, liberty, and justice, and justice for, all. for all. Feels like everyone's repeating after me. <laughs> <laughs> You're teaching it to us. Yeah. The first time we did this, I actually forgot liberty and liberty for liberty. It had been so long since I said the Pledge of Allegiance. I actually forgot the line. So, uh, we have no plans. All we have is the meeting, but I guess we got to give them, what, at least 15 minutes in case somebody does want to come on. I don't think they can come on. Oh, okay. Even better than. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the things we got was from uh, the Whitman Town Board of Appeals. We'll hold a public hearing on Monday, February 22nd at 7.30 live via video conference on petition of Jose Ferrez, Ferraz for a special permit for section 666 for a proposed accessory apartment at 233 Winter Street. So I don't remember. I think that was one of the ones that we just, they didn't give us any information on. Hmm. You're muted, Sheila. Yeah. Could be one of the many. Could be one of the many that uh, didn't give us enough information. So pick yeah. one, anyone. Yeah. So I just want to let you guys know in case anyone wants to go. I don't know if I have to go or one of us has to go. Do we? No, I think it's just notifying us of the meeting, right? Okay. Yeah, that's all it says. It doesn't say, you know. So. Yeah. That's that. And that's it. <laughs> We literally have nothing else. Well, are we going to talk about that um, that uh, no, notice that we got? Um, let me pull it up really yeah. quick. What action do we have to take on that? I was a little confused by that. Yeah, I did. Suggest to the board of selectmen, um, and then, but it's not. And if you will look at the end of it, it it says the list of people that it was being sent to. We're not on the list. So, was that? We Is are it on the just FYI, or I didn't see it. We're on the list, but it's sent to Jill. Oh, okay. And we just copied. It's sent to the board of selectmen. So whoever notifies a national flood on a regular basis should be sending a letter. Okay. I would think it would be the town administrator, but um, maybe somebody could check with. The new town administrator and see if that's the case it doesn't have to be done since till june right we have plenty of time i can reach but out hopefully it'll all be back in session by then i don't think so <laughs> me neither but you can hope so we all have to get shots and that's not moving too fast in whitman no no i'm trying to get it for my mother i'm i'm eligible already because i'm a utility worker so I've been eligible since the first wave and I haven't found any place I can go except Gillette at Fenway. And that's if you get lucky. Um, the Marshfield Fairgrounds is now doing it as well. Okay. So I was kind of hoping for the Johnson and Johnson vaccine so I don't have to go once so I don't pass out twice. <laughs> I'm a big guy but I'm definitely afraid of needles. <laughs> But yeah, like if, uh, like you're saying, Sheila, I, when I was reading it, I didn't think there was needed a response to that letter from the from FEMA. Mm -hmm. At least that's how I took it anyway. It just seemed like a notice. So we'll, we we'll just find out and we'll see what Melissa finds out and then we'll just take action accordingly or just uh, file it in the, in the important important paper folder. Yeah. <laughs> we should just confirm though that the letter was sent because yeah. we don't want to. Yeah, we don't want to assume. Yeah. If we need this to do very something. well, yeah, very well could be something that we have to do and hire someone to update the plans or something like that. So uh, right. better be than sorry. So do we have to make an official motion to confirm um, if we need to take any action on the, the letter? 
they would not know. All right, well, let's, let's put it in anyway. So I don't think we even introduced this, uh, this letter um, that we're talking about for public record. So let's get that on record first. Um, Adam, do you have that up or do you wanna share your screen? I don't even have it up. I just have the paper in front of me. I didn't put anything up because I didn't know if we needed, you know, <laughs> that we needed to right. do anything for it. It's basically just confirming the change of the flood panels. Right. Mm -hmm. With no impact to our area, that, although they did list some streets and addresses. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, do you guys see my screen with this? Um, yes. Okay, um, just so it's on public record, um, this is the document that we were referencing from uh, FEMA. Um, essentially, there's no real, um, there's no real changes to the FEMA map. There is some um, that uh, does does affect some land in um, with the town of Whitman, but it's not detriment and it's not uh, it's not going to put anybody at risk or or anything like that. It's kind of um, it's an informative thing that we do have to update our uh, flood maps anyways. So um, this is the the letter the letter here. I'm just going to kind of scroll through it um, just so it's on record. I'm not going to read it word for word, right. um, but um, Am I? Yeah. yeah. So um, there's a couple of addresses that it does affect, um, and it tells exactly what it affects and why. Um, but I read through this, and it's not. It's nothing. Um, nothing to write home about, anyways. Um, there was only one address that was revised. Everything else is unrevised. So it looks like there was no changes to anything except for that one on Indian Trail. Yeah. The only yep. thing that's revised. Everything yeah. else that comes under unrevised. Or yeah, it's, it's more about the panel changes. If you look to the far right, it tells you the original panel and the change of the panel. Okay, yep, yep. yep. Mm -hmm. And it seems like that is the case here too. Basically, um, the town to accept the new panels. Yep, yep. So this is the document that we're referencing, uh, just so it's on record. Um, I guess I'll just make that motion to um, to write to who are we contacting the town administrator to see if we need to take any action on the planning board. All right, yeah. so I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All right, a motion by Sheila, second by Elaine. So we'll go around. All in favor, Sheila. In favor. Elaine. In favor. Alani. In favor. I am also in favor. Very good. Not uh, easy enough. Oh, I didn't was, know what uh, to do with these. I didn't know if we had to put them on the record or, you know. Yeah, always, um, oops, I'm showing you my- uh, Hello, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you, no, that was my actual personal email that I had. <laughs> so you'll see all my, uh, my uh, Title five reports and all of that good stuff. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, um, yeah, so anytime there's a, an important document where we're questioning, where we need to take action, we do need to make public um, recognition that we do have this in okay. place. And uh, if we were meeting in person, we would just um, stamp it and, um, you know, file it. And then when we do need to reference it, if we do need to take action or if we need to hire someone to, um you know make some changes to the existing flood maps um then we just pass this uh this document over to them okay um, just have it as well that's easy enough then yeah yeah i mean when in doubt always submit it to public record okay that's good to yeah. know thank yeah. you Sheila. yeah no uh, problem we'll figure it out eventually <laughs> uh, you got it under control we got Alani. She's our senior advisor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Uh, did, yep. I, uh, did I stop sharing my screen somehow? Yes. All right. You cool. did. We see you. Right. We, we see you again. <laughs> so, all right. So that's all we have then tonight. I make a motion for the minutes from the last meeting. Yep, they look good to me. Do we have a second from Elaine? To approve the minutes? No, I approved. I was made the motion. 
Right. Do we have a second to the motion? Yes, I'll, I'll second it. Even though I wasn't there, I was told oh, by my husband. Well, that's believe it or not, I was told I officially can vote for minutes even if I wasn't present. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. I kind of We're thought that was a, one of the things tonight. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was a thing I could do, but yes, I've been told. All right. So motion to approve the minutes by Elaine, second by Alani. All in favor, Sheila. In favor. Alani. Yes. Elaine. In favor. I also in favor. So that is approved. The minutes are good. And I think that is it. Except for Lonnie's favorite motion. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn by Lonnie. I'll second it. Second by Sheila. Are all in favor? Elaine? In favor. Alani. In favor. Sheila. In favor. I am in favor also. That is unanimous and we are good to go. Nice and Thank easy. You. Okay. Thank you.